Zoomix has a new home. Zoomix inspires and empowers young people to use music to make positive changes in their lives, their communities, and their world. If you're an artistic kid, if you're a creative kid, if you're a kid who, you know, is not so hot on math and science but comes alive while playing a guitar, you don't really have a place to express that until you come here to Zoomix. have my room do what I want to do and it's a freedom it's a freedom that's gonna do nothing but open doors to a whole bunch of more talents that I didn't know I have to this day. I have so many kids doing all the different sorts of things. The art and life and everything's gonna be beautiful. So, I can't wait for it. Uh, there's just so many kids out there right now just uh, chilling on the corner. And if they just knew about this place and came in here, they'd be doing something actually, you know, worth the while and have fun while doing it and probably wouldn't want to chill in the corner as much anymore, you know? I think Zoomix is, was a blessing for East Boston and the whole community, and I'll do whatever I have to uh, to make sure this program uh, is helped along. Um, as a city councilor, I've been advocating for Zoomix for many, many years. Um, as you know, uh, they, the building is a city of Boston building. Um, Zoomix had to raise $4.2 million to complete the project, and they're $800,000 short right now. So we're moving ahead. This is gonna be an exciting day when this um, building is finally built. And as a city councilor, I'm excited about working with ZoomX and Madeline to make this happen. This has been a dream of ours for so long. Um, we, we started in my house back in 1991, um, literally sitting around the kitchen table thinking what can we do to provide a safe space for kids and get them involved in the arts. Um, and we started running programs out of our house and then we moved and used some space at the Harborside Community Center in East Boston. And then in 1996 we moved into our current building and we've been renting ever since there. Um, and it's a wonderful building, it's about 3,400 3, square feet. Um, but we have 300 kids on our waiting list right now 
wanting to get into programs that we can't serve. We have about 300 kids a year that we do currently serve within that building, teaching them instrumental music, teaching them songwriting, music technology. We now started a radio station, so we have kids learning how to be journalists and do their own shows and produce their own radio. Um, and it's it's the the it's a great kind of problem to have. But when a kid comes in, a pa you know, a kid comes in with their parent and they says that they say that they want to sign up for programs and you know that it's going to take at least a year for them to get in the door you're going to lose them you know they're they're going to they're going to go elsewhere or they're not going to find a place so the significance is both that we're going to have more space and be able to service more kids which is my biggest dream the sec the second big significance is that we'll have a home finally that we won't be at the whim of a landlord and if they want to raise the rent or kick us out or whatever then we end up being a homeless organization i don't want to do that i i, I raised this sort of baby organization and now it's sort of a, an adolescent and i want it to to grow up into an adult and have its own home and be able to be here well into the future. And then the last thing I would say is that East Boston doesn't have a center, a cultural hub where people can come in and come to events and hear live music and meet their, fr you know, meet friends and sort of feel connected. And the corner of the, because this building's on the corner and it's very close to Pierce Park and the waterfront, I feel like it's an amazing location to be able to welcome people into our neighborhood and and say like this is our culture, this is our art, this is this is who we are as a people, and we want you to all feel welcome and be part of it. Add to the chorus, kind of.